Alabama and Oklahoma State tee off today in the NCAA Golf Championship. One woman following the tournament closely is Katana Starks. You've probably never heard of her, but she made history in the sport and left an indelible mark through the legacy of her students. Michelle Miller hit the links with the golf pioneer. Michelle, good morning. Good morning, or at least tried to. Well, Katana Starks was the first woman ever to coach a men's Division I golf team, a team that went on to win a national championship. She did it at an historically black college in Tennessee by turning the rules of recruitment upside down. That's in the hole. That's in the hole. TSU. At 69 years of age, this former golf coach is still going strong. Nearly 30 years ago, Katana Starks came out swinging, making history in the world of golf when she was named head coach of the Tennessee State University men's team. Problem was, people had trouble accepting a woman in that role, including potential players. It was a problem for me to try to get African-American men who could play. So she cobbled together a team that included two injured football players and a woman. Then she did something truly controversial, going beyond the fairways of Nashville to Canada, Australia, Algeria, even Sweden, to recruit any golfer of any race open to playing for an historically black college. You wanted the best players, best players you could find. That I could, I could get, yes. And they happen to be white. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Good bird. First one down now. We got to keep it rolling. It was a move that paid off. Over the years, several accomplished golfers called her coach. Sean Foley is now Tiger Woods' swing coach. All American Robert Dinwiddie plays on the European tour. And Sam Purrier helped coach Stanford to a national title in 2007. Golf was essentially forced on Tennessee State. Some people, I, I would, I've sat back and thought about this, probably estimated, hey, we can babysit a golf program. They hired the wrong person for babysitting. She wanted to win, and she wanted to do it the right way. With little financial support from the university, Starks drove the team to tournaments herself, ironed their uniforms, even bought their meals. Opposing coaches didn't take her seriously. Asked if I was a bus driver or somebody's mother. Was it that unlikely that a woman would be coaching a golf team? Yes. A men's <laughs> golf team? Yes. They just didn't talk with me. Well, when did they take notice? I suppose when I started winning. <laughs> Coach. What was the biggest championship you won? The National Minority Championship. We shot at 840 for those three rounds, and uh, we set a record, and no one has broken that record. <laughs> if her successes sound like the stuff of movies, you would be right. Last month, Starks got the Hollywood treatment. Her story was turned into the feature film From the Rough, starring Oscar-nominated actress Taraji P. Henson. I focus on potential. And I work hard to realize mine. And I expect the same of you. I just remember thinking to myself, wow, what an amazing woman. What an amazing story. Like, the world needs to know about her. Taraji said that uh, you know, normally people, they make life stories about our deceased. But I'm still here. And you're still, you're still putting. <laughs> yes, I am. Still playing. Still coaching, too. Well, Starks retired from coaching in 2005 after leading the TSU team for nearly two decades. I just love this woman. Yes. 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 What a great story. I never heard of her. I know. I'm Who, so glad you introduced us. Yes. Uh, thank you for letting me introduce her. Yeah, great story.